Right, hi guys, I'm really sorry about that, but I'm back. Okay, you're going to hear the same thing again that I have just, just said, okay? So, I can only speak for myself. I can only speak of my experiences. I can only speak of how things have affected me. Okay, they may not have affected me in my relationship with my husband, but your mind says I look ugly, I look unattractive, no one likes me, I don't like myself. So how am I expected my husband to look at me and fancy me is beyond me. You know, so it's like, so when we look in the mirror, what is the first thing that we see? Do your eyes go straight on the things that you don't like? My arms are too wobbly, my thighs are too big, and my skin is terrible. As I said before, success is liking yourself, okay? If you like yourself, start looking at your body, right, and sit there and think to yourself, when I shift my mindset to something good, right, then... It's my strength, okay? So, next time you have a negative thought that comes into your head, replace it with, okay, if you get, I hate my thighs, I love my eyes, okay? Think to yourself, if all of a sudden you get a negative on, I hate my wobbly belly, think, well, I've got a good bum on me, you know, or a good set of boobs, just start liking yourself that is the key to success okay so then all of a sudden you will start to sit there and you'll think to yourself no i'm going to do it for me when i lost that i can only speak of when i lost the six stone now that was seven years ago um for me i i fell after having my first child in my mind as i said before in my mind my mind's eye, I thought my body was going to go ping straight back into size six to an eight, which is what I was when I first met Stan. Unfortunately, it did not. It stayed in a size, oh, I can't even remember. I think it was a, at the time for me, because I was only a six to an eight, a size 12 was like, ah, that's like big, but size. 14, I'm now, unfortunately, I'm not ashamed to say what size I am. I want to do something about it, and I will be doing something about it Thursday. I'm a size 18, and I have never in my life been a size 18. Now, there are times when I look in the mirror, and I sit there, and I think to myself, oh, I look awful, um, I've got really big thighs, nothing fits me. You know, and you put on a top and you that fitted you not that long ago and it's tight and you're like, I can't wear that. And you end up with a heap of clothes on your bed that don't fit. And then in that heap of clothes sits you crying, which is me crying. I haven't got nothing to wear. And so then you have to go out and you buy size bigger. But that doesn't increase... That doesn't stop us thinking, I'm a big fat mess, okay? But it should we should sit there and think to ourselves, okay, what am I going to do about it? I've got a heap of clothes that I can't get into that I know that I will look good in them, okay? Now, we don't. We just go and spot, carry on buying the bigger sizes up. Like me, I've just ordered a, an extra large T-shirt. Well, Why? Why have I done that? I should have ordered a small so that I could say, right, okay, my goal is going to be this size small little thing, put it up on a coat hanger and put it on my wardrobe. And then every time I look at it, I'm going, that is my motive. My motive is getting into, or what your motive could be, is getting into that little black dress. Everyone's got a little black dress. I've got a little black dress somewhere along the line that I definitely can't get into. I don't even think it will touch. It won't even go past there. That's how bad. That's bad. And I had that when I was, oh, 16. Now, I was a size 
six to a night from the time I was 14 to the time I was 19. And don't tell a lie, no, not 19. To the time I was 20, I had Rebecca when I was about 22, 23. So that's the size that I was. I couldn't put on any weight. Um, no matter how much I ate, I, no matter how much, if even I didn't used to drink back then, and I still don't really drink. So if you drink, drink is the big boo boo, because that we will get like a big fat belly. You will get um, you'll sit there and think, oh, I've had a stressful day. I need a glass of wine. You know, kids have been driving me up the wall. Where's a glass of wine? The wine that we have, we should sit there and think, no, I'm not going to have that glass of wine. I'm going to have, say, a smoothie. Okay, so then you would make up your smoothie. Or I'm going to have a big bowl of fruit. Or whatever. Whatever you are going to replace something naughty with, replace it with something healthy. Okay, this so we just think um, of our children. Now, for those that are big, we carry um, fats on our organs now what happens is when we start to lose weight we are looking on the outside for looking at weight loss first unfortunately it comes off the inside first so next time you pee and drinking water plenty of water that's another key um, the more water you drink you will start to lose the fat from the inside first so when you actually have a wee have a look in your pee next time and you will see um and you will see that there are little tiny little fat deposits in your wee and it's pretty gross really um but once you've lost the fat on the inside then you start losing the fat on the outside for me when i was losing that six stone it weren't coming off quick enough and I would be losing a pound, sometimes three pounds. For those that go Slimming World, if all of a sudden, when you very first go, same as those that go Weight Watchers, or anyone that's cut out the sweets, crisps, cakes, biscuits, anything, or, and, or you've got a complete alkaline diet or anything, um, you will notice that you'll have a big weight loss the very first week that you go. Please don't expect to lose that every single week you might do depending on how much weight if you are a very big person a very big girl um or even then you will probably lose quite a lot in the first week maybe the first two weeks but then it could slow down don't get discouraged okay because it's got to slow down your body has just just had a massive great big dent in it and just basically you have um said right i've had enough of this heflock i am going to um lose my weight so then all of a sudden you've changed your way you've changed your lifestyle you've changed eating all that rubbish to eating healthily and making sure that all that fat on the inside is gone so that we are going to live longer okay we're going to look younger we're going to look good and you get some people that go i think you've lost enough weight you're starting to look really terrible now who's had that i know i know i did i did i i had that quite a lot of people julie i think you should stop there you look nice as you are that's not my goal my goal is what i want to look like okay my goal is getting back it's not my goal now but back then my goal was to look like that seven stone person so even though for me now as a mum that's too light I'm quite happy just to get back down even to eight and a half stone to nine stone that I know in myself would be healthier for me okay I will stop being out of breath when you walk up up a um up a hill um my joints uh because i've got obviously i've got the degenerative just disc disease degenerative joint disease um and a whole lot of discs that don't work and don't do nothing so there's a whole lot of pain that i have to go through that i know if i lost my weight my knees well 
I might just be able to run a little bit easier um, without feeling like you're splitting open your shins, you know. Um, and I know that my whole body itself would feel a lot healthier. I'd be a lot healthier. Um, and I know that if I don't want to do this for my husband, I don't want to do it. My incentive, right, you're going to laugh at this one, girls, right? I love, all you lot know I love Matt Goss, okay, from Bross. I was a Brossette since I was 11 years old. Now, if when Stan watches this, he's going to go, oh, you had to mention Matt, didn't you? You can't mention me. Of course, I love my husband very, very dearly, but... Obviously, I loved Matt Goss, and as and I have only just met him, you know, like a couple of years ago, I think I met him. But long story short, I had a thing in my head saying, the next time I see him, I don't want to look fat. I want to look slim. I want to look nice. Did that get me losing my weight? No. No. It had the adverse effect. Um, in fact, I ate more because that I felt pressurised and I wasn't ready to, to lose weight. And I thought, no, why should I lose weight? I don't want to lose weight. And, um, and then someone said, well, do it for your husband. Do it for the gym. You own a gym. Come on, do it for that. For some unknown reason, I just could not get my head around it. I was going for a bit of stress at the time so i was stress eating a lot and um i was in a lot of pain all the time so when you're in a lot of pain you feel sorry for yourself you feel like the world's going to collapse around you hang on she's asleep no she's not um and um so consequently you'd eat more and then and then you get fed up because you're thinking Oh, I don't know. I should do it for the gym. I should do it for this. I should do it for that. And then you just don't. So don't do it for anyone else other than you. If you don't do it for you, it won't work. That's why I'm saying positive thinking and liking yourself is your key. Okay? And don't do it for that. If your husband says, come on. It's like Stan. He says to me. I must admit, me and him, right, we have a right old laugh because he's a bit of a tubby bear as well. So, I say it should be called Fat Stan's Gym. <laughs> you know, and it should be Heifer's Gym. But at the end of the day, as mine and his little um, little banter bit, I think, he goes, he'll be sitting there next minute, he says, Joe, if you lose weight, then your knees won't hurt so much. I know it's correct, yes. I know what he's saying is true, but I don't care. I don't want to do it because he says I've got to do it. So now I'm digging my heels in and I'm not doing it because he says I've got to do it. Do it for you. Do it when you feel ready, when you want to do it, and you know your time is right. That's when it will work, okay? See, I've been thinking, going along, doing your shopping, looking at all the things, and you think, this is the wrong time to go on a diet, really, because Christmas is coming. Who diets around Christmas? Right, so you don't diet. So then all of a sudden, you're now, you're thinking, oh, I've got birthdays in January. I've got this in January. Oh, and we've got Valentine's Day, don't forget, in February. If you think about it, the whole year, you won't diet. Why is that? Because we're always finding some excuse. We're always finding one day won't hurt, okay? So Christmas Day, if we're all dieting Christmas, Christmas Day will not matter. One day will not matter. That's how you've got to think. That's how I've got to think. Otherwise, we ain't going to get nowhere. And um, so anyway, so what I'm going to do, even when I went last time to Weight Watchers, which wasn't that long ago that it was called the flex plan that they brought out and that was brilliant because all their chicken was free they had literally over 200 free foods and it was good i loved it and i started to lose quite a lot of weight obviously because having a high protein diet is better for you as well but they would give out these little cards and these little recipe cards 
um, and that that one is jacket potato toppers. I don't know if you can, oops, if you can see it. Give me a thumbs up if you can see that properly. You know, I think you I think you can. Um, and then you've got Mediterranean fish parcels. So they give out all these little golden nuggets, all these little things to help you along your way. Okay, so that you don't have to, have to sit there and think, what am I going to do for dinner? I don't know, everyone else seems so good at planning their little things. Plan the night ahead, okay? Play the day, what I normally do is plan the night before. All right, so that you're sitting there and you're, you're working it out and you're going, right, I'm going to go and buy this tomorrow. This is what I'm having. I'm going to have this for my breakfast. Say so you're going to... Uh, on Weight Watchers, I know that the um, oh, honey puffs. I think they're not honey puffs. They're puffed, puffed wheat. I can't. For those that can't tolerate wheat, don't don't touch it. But I think it there was only I think there were about one point. But why everything? Whether you're a Slimming World or whether you're not, I know Slimming World doesn't really don't think you don't have to weigh things in that correct me if i'm wrong i don't think you do but please weigh everything weighing your food is very important all right if you don't weigh your food you don't know how much you're having like a jacket potato don't have too many potatoes too often okay split it up say like i'm gonna have a jacket potato if you're on slimming world have a jacket potato for your lunch I know they're free, but don't take advantage of it, okay? Think to yourself, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a jacket potato for my lunch, and then I'm going to have something completely different um, for, my, for my dinner. Um, work out a recipe from the, from the books. We've got recipe books. Work out your recipe books. I love Weight Watchers um, recipe books. I have got millions, and how many recipes have I done from them? I've got about... Five, six, not millions, I ain't really got millions. I've got about seven um, recipe books by them, and I've done two recipes out of that. Now, how bad am I? Huh? That's because you're only half doing the diet. You only half want to lose the weight. You've got to wholeheartedly want to lose that weight. Otherwise, nothing's going to work. Nothing will work. Right. I said, didn't I? that we are going to be doing a smoothie so i've got my coconut water i have my i'm going to show you because i won't be able to turn the camera around i don't think got my blender i will show you the outcome of it so long as it goes all right um i haven't got no yogurt or, or anything but i'd norm i would normally sometimes i would put 0 percent um greek yogurt in there so i'm putting a little bit I'll show you how much I've put. I put that much of the coconut water in there. Now, little Miss is gonna, little Alexis is gonna come in this one because she's been itching, absolutely itching uh, bananas off to try and get over here. Right, so now I'm gonna put some, I've got blueberries. Normally, oh, shushy mushies. Normally, I would um, have fresh fruit, not frozen fruit. You can have frozen fruit because it's going to be like, instead of putting ice in there, so it's going to be quite... Hey, hey, frozen fruit. Yeah, because it's all going to be ground dried up. Oh. No. It's not like a drink. It is. Hey, I'm good. Hey, hey, frozen stuff. Yeah. No, you can't eat frozen stuff, but you can... This is going to go into, like, a drink. Yeah. Right, so I am putting, literally... It looks like I've got blood on my hands. It does. I'm putting quite a lot of... In a minute, you can put the other bits. Ooh. Okay, so my blueberries have gone in. Well, let me go put one more in there. Um, I've got a tail over here, so I can just... One more okay, she wants to just put one more in now. Um, now, if you are doing, because obviously, I, because I thought that I'd had cancer, um, they found a lump 
I got told that I okay, had I when I was when I, had, go next when I had her, they found a lump on my lung. And um Basildon didn't want to do nothing really about it, so neither did I. I forgot all about yeah, it to be honest. But hang on. Yeah. And then when I and I couldn't all of a sudden four years later I couldn't breathe and I went to Queen. Okay, let me go first. I'm your princess. Right, in here, look, we got strawberries, frozen strawberries at that. Yeah. So if it's all gonna work. Normally, no, you can't. Normally, Why? I would do Why? um fresh. Why? Um, what? Shush. Well, I can't eat it. Well, we would be able to drink it. I normally would do. Well, fresh. Mommy, I yeah, hate yeah, yeah, look. What? What do you hate? You won't be able to taste any of that in there. It's high. You won't be able to. Well, then you can have a little bit of it. She didn't like it because it had um different seeds in it. What are you eating? Spit that out. Because it's frozen, you monkey. Get that, spit that out, spit it out. Oh, oh she's having face. Um, right, put that in there. Put that in there. It's good that it's only us, isn't it? Okay, do you want to go sit over there and take a time out then? Mama. Right, come on then, sit over there. Yeah, so so anyway, so four years later, I couldn't breathe. So I was rushed into, um, into the hospital and they'd done a scan. Oh, boy. It was like all the alarm bells. What are you doing? It was like all the alarm bells just went off, and they found the lump again. And I said to my mum, "They're going to find that lump. I know they are." Oh, they did. They did. And um, I don't know quite how this is going to work because I've got, I'm putting some of that in there. Sometimes I put some almond milk in there. Yeah, we'll take that too. Well, I might actually put some blue spirelia in there. We're going to put some goji berries in there. Well, and mommy, um, we'll so take, for us... Mommy, we'll take that out. Yeah, so for... Mommy, absolutely, I was rushed into the cancer part. And um, fr they frighten the living life out of me, to be honest with you. And um, they reckon that there was multiple things. Now, I'm, I'm putting literally a handful. Can you see that? A handful in there. I don't know. No, no, no. You don't need any more. No. Okay, well, she's putting more than a handful in there. But I put only a handful in now. And I'm going to put Me some too. some chai seeds. No, we're only going to need a few of these chai seeds. Mommy? No, Mommy. Look. Give me your hand then. Give me your hand. Oh dear, don't she go through? Through ya. Right, in there. In it goes. <laughs> look at her hand. Look. I can do a little painting of it. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, so then what they done was, it was literally all systems go, they put me onto the cancer bit, it literally, it frightened me, to be honest, because I sat there, hang on, any minute, when I finish talking, um, because I started to think to myself, well, what if I've got it, what about her, what about my other children, what about my husband, I knew he'd be alright, but I thought, what about my kids? You know, she's only four. She's only little. How's she going to cope? So then I and started... And I'm a little miss. Yeah, your name's Little Miss. You are a little miss. And then I started researching everything yeah, I could crazy. about, like, curing cancer. Until I found heaps and heaps of testimonies. I'm not going to blame it. I'm not going to blame it. Hang on, it. I've got to put, it, put the lid on. Um, heaps, of, heaps of testimonies. That said, an with an alkaline. All right, we're gonna blend it. Well, she'll never be quiet. Sorry, it's too far. I'm going to eat you finish. Oh, we'll taste your little bits. We'll taste your little bits. Yeah, we'll taste your little bits. Yeah. And we'll taste your disgusting bits. Is he on the pod? No. Oh dear. Let's have a look. That wasn't. Okay, you have a very mixed type thing. I'm going to test this out. <laughs> it's like it's mixed. 
to me, but I don't look good. Are you going to drink it? Yeah. Don't not spit it back in there, otherwise it's going to be mank. <laughs> Come on. Oh. oh, that's cold. That's good. That's really, really nice. And that's some more. That's really nice. You. you like that? Yeah, so, and I started researching and I, I found that loads of testimonies that people that had been Guys, given make this. <laughs> you heard her. Make it. Um, this is delicious. The had been terminal cancer people that had terminal cancer and they were being cured by literally an alkaline diet if you have an alkaline diet then cancer can't live in there um obviously you still have the chemo but it should work alongside your chemo healthy eating and, and things like that so um no all right i'll put no you got some you got loads of it in there sit down otherwise you're going to fall so why I want everybody to see me. You want everybody to see you. Well, you know, so, anyway, so then, um, but the actual diet itself, I mean, I was doing um, fish, smoked mackerel. Um, I was um, doing, oh, what they call it, avocado. And I'd put a little tiny bit of an avocado. Mama. Be careful with avocado, though, they're for highly fattening. They're very Mama. good for your skin, yes. No, it's not gone off. I want to have these little bits in it. You said the chai says, I think there was actually something wrong with my blender because it's not actually blended it. It seems to have cut out. So, for some unknown reason, it's given up the ghost. But, Mommy. that, some of it that we've done, it has blended up, but she's she can taste the chai seeds. So, it's not really mixed it to that extent. Mommy. What are you doing? No more. Mommy, I'm putting yogurt to make it nice. No, 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 no. Mommy, because it's frozen. Mommy, are we can make it nice. Oh, we're having a four year old. We can make it nice. That is nice. No, it's not. Right, I'll tell you what, you can sit round here. Come here. Sit round there. When I call a little miss, I tell you. I am a little miss. She is a little miss. Yeah, so, and it's, and I found that an, with an alkaline diet, the cancer can't live there. Um, and if, and it can prevent it as well. So, um, that was what I was doing. And little did I realise that it actually got rid of all my aches and all my, all my pains. Now, that was me. So that was my story and why I started smoothie making. Obviously, when you go Weight Watchers and semi Wild. You've then Mommy, got to spoon, um, go, you go and get you go and get the spoon. Um, excuse me, I'm doing. I'm doing a video. Mum, you are my mummy. Oh, I'm her mummy. Um, but mommy. so anyway, so um, well, have tail. yeah, you have a tail. And I hurt my knee at school. I hurt you. She's hurt her knee at school. Yeah. So um, but when you actually get there and people go, oh, you've lost. X amount, and it's only a pound. Don't be disheartened, okay? Please, because this, some of you have seen this, some of you haven't, but that is what you have lost. When you say, I have just lost a pound, that is a pound of fat that you have just lost. It's like a boob, granted. But, but it's fat. It is a pound of fat that you would have lost from either under your arms, your... Your, your hips, your tummy, or Me. anywhere. So don't get disheartened, even if it's half a pound. Just weigh out half a pound, okay? And then you'll see how much weight that is. Mummy. Okay, so don't, Mommy. I'm going to go now. So hope that's been inspirational to you. And I will catch you on tomorrow's video. If you want on tomorrow's video, give me a thumbs up or... Just drop me a line and go, yep, we want another one. Should be at school tomorrow. <laughs> Alright then. So I'll catch you later, guys. Be good and stay on stay on plan. Stay on track. Point everything. Write everything down. It's important. You know how naughty you've been. So when you get on them scales and they go, oh, you haven't lost anything. 
what nine times out of ten we go oh what i've been so good oh and you know and then you sit there and you think well i had a bottle of wine on saturday then i had mcdonald's for my lunch then i had that you have not been good at all so you know exactly what is going into your mouth okay so be honest with yourself if if all of a sudden they say you haven't lost anything be careful because it could catch up with you the following week okay so get into your diet programs get into your um gym get to the gym and for all those girls that belong to stan's gym um and you've been going to stan's gym or any girls that don't belong to stan's gym and that want to go if you sign up on Stan's Gym, um, it's stanstgym.com, and then you've got another part, which is for me, you know, if you want to sign up under me. It's normally £10 for women, £10 a month for ladies, but if you sign up with me, it's £9.50. I know it's only, it's not that much difference, but you get unlimited access to the, to the whole place, okay? And obviously you get Stan's, Stan's expertise and... And you you you'll grill him. You can grill me till your heart's content, and you're getting these um, very fun and cheeky videos. <laughs> okay, so catch you later, guys. Bye.